Okay, I'm just going to take a minute and go over here uh, where the Build Your Own Fighter project is so far. In your main folder, you're just going to see this uh, folder for the fighters, the half res folder, the geek folder. Those are uh, mesh objects for the uh, alpha stage. Then you have the executable. Right away, that's all you're really going to want to mess with. Maybe a few things inside the, uh, the any file, so you can set uh, some of these settings if you want. The default keys in you can change that to any file name you want. Dot any if you want to make your own list of keys, and we'll look at that in a second. The high performance, um, for a lot of you right now, it's not going to make a big difference, but for some systems, depending on your video card and CPU, that can really help. We'll go into that later. The default keys file, oops, broke, <laughs> um, will ask you to quickly go through and set uh, what joystick access is connected to what channel, your dead zone on your joystick, and you're also going to have um, some stuff like what key your view lock is. Now I posted a link on the forum um, where to get the scan codes for the keys, so you can go in and edit these keys. Anyhow, with Windows will behave here, I'm just going to launch the uh, program itself. First thing you're going to notice that comes up is this window. It'll tell you that it's launching and it's waiting for a key. Um, as soon as you push that, it creates the, uh, the direct 3D window that we see here, and then finds the uh, key file to load the key preferences and finishes setting up the controls, and then does as it says there. It does a quick scan of the joystick if it's plugged in, and returns its current uh, state on on four axis and of course if you're missing an axis or you just don't have it your, uh, one of these y values would just be zero uh, inside here some of the stuff on the hud is still relevant like o and b um, some of this other stuff has been removed so don't worry about that just push h to hide that or change the key and help file. left clicking and dragging Dragging the mouse causes your uh, camera to orbit around your current ship, whatever distance you are away. Now you can use your middle mouse wheel to scroll in and out, or you can use your arrow keys on the keyboard to also control your camera position. If you notice, as soon as I left click again, the camera points straight at the ship. If you right click and grab the screen, you move the camera view relative to how you're dragging the screen. So if I want to drag this portal and pull it down into the center, that's all you can do is just grab it and move it. It's pretty straightforward. And some of that functionality changes depending on your camera mode. So for example, if I push the T key, which is a tracking key, um, if I try and move the camera off using the right mouse, you can't look away. But the orbit still works because those two modes are compatible. Now, you can use the keys make it go forward or backwards and turn or roll or what have you. They're all there. You can do the same thing. I know you just didn't push the keys. You can do the same thing with the joystick. The nice thing about the joystick is a little bit of proportionality. So if you only move an analog joystick a little bit, you're going to only get a little bit of the action. If it's a D-pad, you're going to get all of the action. And right now I just have the access, the access is hooked up. Now, if you push F5 once, that puts you in a virtual cockpit. Push it again, and it detaches you from the ship. If you push F6, that sets you up behind it again. Um, pushing the key will change your camera mode from the main cam to the head on cam, it's looking back at yourself. If you push any key more than once, it detaches you back to the full machine. Now, you can, of course, fly your why your ship as you need, whatever camera you're doing. I'm just going to do this quickly here. Of course, you can catch your camera. I'm going to set the camera. Now, one thing you're going to want to do when you catch your camera, though, is probably put the traffic in. 
You notice there's some inertia here. Here you can see the heat on some rotation inertia. There's sort of some assistance coming in that works a lot like an RCS thrust or a well control stabilization. But I've got to balance some of the other inputs out there because the thrust is still very strong. That's holding back it's very easy. The controls that I use right now are set up very much for flying model aircraft. Now, over here you can see some stuff is spit out of us as we change some loads. But say, for example, you want to load a different uh, mesh, you just push the O key. You just have to be going to do that one. Now, we might go on right away from that. One of the things we might do is just click a bit the F6 key, which kind of gets you on board, so to speak. Now, this is uh, Larson's ship. Uh, I'll just have a few. Uh, Play with it better and set it up just so that it would uh, stand up against the back. I think I just want to watch it uh, go around and set up a very simple uh, cockpit account. In fact, I don't know if this is even close to any kind of design, but it just gives us something else to play with. Anyhow, um, you can push your F12 key, it will put you into full screen, which uh, you can't see the true full screen right now that I have because I've got the window cropped or push it down a little bit and back to where you were. Um, you have your total climbing goals in view count. That, in, that removes the actual count of uh, this text up here because every one of those digits is two, two triangles. But this is the real triangle count in the entire scene that's in view. You'll notice that uh, as we get around the scene, your frame rate may change. That would be because some objects that may have some fill rate involved come from out of view. So, that would be that. Great, anyhow, thanks for watching.